Hi, Anna Fernandez here. Now, this month we are producing and premiering videos that have to do with minor children and time sharing issues and of course, co-parenting tips. So in this video, we are gonna go over the top three mistakes that I see in family law cases involving minor children when time sharing, which is also known as custody, is an issue. So let's dive right in. Now, the most common mistake that I see, number one, is one of the parents not allowing the other to see the child. Now, this, this typically happens in matern paternity cases uh, when the parties were not married and the child is born out of wedlock. Now, what happens there, even if the father is on the birth certificate, the father is not necessarily entitled to certain rights such as time sharing because there's no time sharing schedule. So let's say it's a paternity action, the boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever you want to call it, two parties, they have a child and then they break up, but they have a, a good relationship still. That's also very common. Now the issues happen when either the mom or the dad or one of the parents get into a new relationship. So what happens? Typically what happens is either the mom doesn't want the dad to see the child anymore for whatever reason of jealousy, anger, unresolved issues, or vice versa. But the most problematic party in that case in the sense of like who's gonna have the harder time is the dad because at that point, if it's a paternity case, unless you've opened the case already, then you don't have a time sharing schedule. So calling the police and, and resorting to to trying to, to enforce an agreement is not necessarily gonna work for you until you file a paternity action. So again, going back, number one mistake, not allowing the kid to see the parent. Why is that a mistake? Because courts are looking for parents that wanna facilitate an ongoing loving relationship with the other parent. That's an ideal situation. A child needs two parents and the parents need to work together. So if you're actively preventing the child from seeing the other parent because of something that is internally being drawn from you, anger, jealousy, or whatever you wanna call it, then that's a mistake. Of course, if there's domestic violence issues, if there's physical or verbal abuse going on, then that also comes in, into a factor of why you would wanna protect the child and not allow the child to see um, that parent. But most basic it's usually uh driven out of an emotion from one of the parents so you want to avoid that keep in mind what's most important in the eyes of the court and the eyes of everyone should be what is in the best interest of the child and if the child needs both parents and both parents are good people then it's in the best interest to cooperate get along and have that child have an ongoing relationship with their parent Re er, mistake number two now, this mistake is very common and very easy to avoid. Do not talk bad about the other parent to the child. It is a huge mistake. Number one, you don't realize how much harm you're doing to your child by talking bad about the parent. Because remember, kids see their parents as, as a superhero. Uh, you know, the, it's, it's their parent. So don't talk bad about them because it's, it's not gonna get you anywhere. And it could also come out into evidence at court. So you don't wanna bad mouth the other parent and you don't wanna do that in front of your children. It's a big mistake. And again, you wanna raise children to respect their elders, to respect their parents. And if you're talking bad about one of the parents, then how much respect are you showing or are you teaching your, your children? Your children are a reflection of yourself. It's very important to respect the other parent and don't talk bad about the other person. Now, if you feel that the other parent is talking bad about you, then what you can do is you can file a motion with the court, let the court know what's going on. You can also request the court to have what's called um, a, an app to communicate between the parties. Because a lot of what comes out and what, a lot of things that are said to minor children usually comes out between the parties in text messages and emails like, oh, you're such a X, Y, Z. Bad mouthing, generally speaking, you don't want to do it either, even if it's to the parent directly but most importantly, you don't wanna do it in front of your child. And the last but not least, the third mistake that I see that is easily preventable, of course, is not being involved in the minor child's life. Now you're in court right now and you're fighting for custody. You better, better be on point on who are the children's best friends, what are their names, who are the names of their teachers, what are their doctors, 
What are some medical conditions that they have? You better be involved in that child's life so much that, that you could literally, you know them more than they know themselves. Why is this important? Because typically when when parents are fighting, it's it's either because there's unresolved issues, which is common and that's what, you know, it's, it's something that has to be resolved. Or number two, they're, um, they just, sometimes it's to lower child support. Um, it was really hard for me to come out and say that, but it, I do see that a lot and that's very unfortunate. So if you're requesting more time um, and you really don't, are not so involved in the minor child's life and have someone else taking care of the child, then that's not really ideal. Why are you really fighting? And the truth will come out. But if you are fighting because you really want to establish a relationship with your child, then you want to make sure that you're actively involved and you're, you're there for your child. So if you have any questions or any comments or any suggestions on, on videos that we can have um, or make or create uh, re related to child support, um, children issues, divorces, or anything here in the state of Florida, please reach out to us, let us know so that we can create better content to help better serve our community. Thank you.